Molly and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about the moolah. We're going to talk about whether or not it takes a lot of money to train and become a circus performer. And I'm going to be fully transparent with you about the cost of how much I've paid for circus, which I've never talked about before. And none of this is sponsored. I'm not getting paid by anybody. I am doing this out of my own free will. And if I ever do get a sponsorship, I'll let you know. <laughs> and I'm going to talk to you about an organization called Seesaw, which is working to alleviate this issue for circus artists. If you're new here, I'm a circus performer who dropped out of physical therapy school to do what I live. <laughs> And if you want to follow my crazy journey, please go ahead and subscribe and ring that bell so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is how much circus training actually costs. And I'm going to go through three different categories of how circus artists usually pay for their training. So the first category that I'm going to talk about is a la carte. And what this means is that you're not part of a pre-professional program or a three-year circus school, but you're really someone who is just paying class by class for your training. So in my personal experience, when I was going through this a la carte method, I would be paying $35 per class, and I would usually take five classes per week. I would also take private lessons every week, and I had open training as well, and the number that I listed here, $100 per month, is the price for one particular space that I know called Kinetic Theory Circus School. Shout out to them. And to be straight up with you, this particular school is very generous because I definitely know places where it would be $15 to $25 per hour to do an open training. And this particular studio would charge only $10 for four hours worth of training per day. And if you bought their monthly package, it would be $100 for up to 20 hours worth of open gym training per week, which is a steal. <laughs> so what I would pay for this a la carte training method is $1,160 per month. And I did this for about two to three years. <laughs> and the second category that we have is a pre-professional program. It is a program that usually either prepares you to go into circus school or a program that prepares you for auditions for companies. And for the program that I was in called the Apprenticeship Mentorship Program at Kinetic Theory Circus School, this was a total of $600 per month. I had nine hours worth of troop training where I worked with this really, really awesome ensemble and all of them are like my family and I really miss them a lot. And, oh, <laughs> I thought about them and I'm gonna cry. And, and also 11 hours worth of classes. So it's not enough to be just an aerialist these days. You kind of just need to learn it all nowadays. It's a lot of pressure actually. <laughs> And I also got weekly private lessons with my rope mentor. His name's Eric Newton, and he's the best, and I miss him a whole lot. <laughs> and honestly, for me, this is where I developed my rope style and who I am as a rope artist, and I'm about to cry. <laughs> and I was able to film an awesome demo reel in their theater, and it was honestly just a great program in general. I miss all the people there, as you can see, because I'm starting to get teary-eyed. And all of that training and all that I got from them and all the support and love was only $600 per month, which is a really awesome experience and opportunity that I was given. And I'm forever grateful for that studio um, that really lifted me up when I wasn't anything. is a three-year circus school where you eat, breathe, drink circus all day long. These programs are usually very, very intense and they produce amazing, amazing, amazing artists. And this is something that wasn't actually in my journey as a circus performer, but I will give you the pricing of one of the schools as an example. So the example that I'm gonna use is the Col National de Cirque, also known as ENC. And I went on their website and looked up their tuition fees 
and this is the results I got. And for this total that I'm about to share with you, I am excluding fees such as entrance exam participation, admission fees, and incidental fee. Someone please explain to me in the comments what an incidental fee is. So this is the tuition fee for international students. And this is the insurance fees for international students as well. So this would be the cost per month for those 10 months. So now I'll put up all the categories up here, but also keep in mind that you can't just go to circus school. You would have had a lot of training beforehand to get to circus school. Not everyone can just run away with the circus. It takes a lot of money. It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of effort. It screws with you mentally. It takes a whole package to become a circus performer. Why am I in this? <laughs> so if you're going into circus, you are that crazy person who loves it and believes in this art form. It's gotten to the point where it's out of reach for so many people. But the bright side is there are social circuses like Circus Harmony who are serving low-income families. And there are studio owners who are aware that circus is getting very, very expensive and they are providing scholarships and financial aid to those people who really want to become professional. And to those studio owners and to those social circuses, I say thank you so much. And the reason why I say thank you so much is because I am someone who had a training scholarship and a work trade program where I was able to pursue my performing dreams. In my own personal case, I worked remote administration jobs so that I had the flexibility to train during the day and I could just work at night. And also when I entered the apprenticeship mentorship program at Kinetic Theory, I also had a training scholarship and I was able to work off the remaining amount by doing a work study program. <laughs> so that's how I was able to do it. But there are a whole lot of other people that don't have those same opportunities. But there is an organization that is working to help. And this organization is called Seesaw, connecting circus students around the world. And they reached out to me about a micro grant program that they are trying to provide to circus artists of color. This micro grant program is something that I want to see go through. And Seesaw can't do it alone. It needs the help of others within the circus community. And wealthy donors, you know what I mean? They are trying to raise $15,000 to create 12 micrograms for U.S. circus artists of color. Each month, one artist will be selected to receive a microgram of $1,000 for that month to help them with either their circus training, whether they be in circus school or they're trying to go and audition, or other circus arts pursuits, such as creating a show. And the selection committee will be comprised entirely of circus artists and circus industry professionals who are of color. Yay! <laughs> but do not get it twisted. Not every brown person and black person you see on the street needs financial aid. But there is something to be said about systemic racism and how if you are a person of color who is in poverty, it is way harder to get out of that situation than if you are white. <laughs> And if you want to learn more about systemic racism, I put a link in the description box below of a video that I found helpful. And another thing that y'all can't miss is my docu-series that will be coming out. I am aiming for mid-July and it is a docu-series highlighting circus artists of color. I think it's going to be really dope. I'm really excited. I love the people I interviewed and I think you're going to love them too. <laughs> And comment down below with your thoughts and opinions on whether you think that circus is starting to become elitist <laughs> or not <laughs> and what we can do about it. And if you enjoyed this video and want to watch more circus related videos, please subscribe and ring that bell so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. And I'll see you over in one of these two videos over here. Okay, bye!